Leaders have all kinds of skills. Business leaders, of course, have to have a sense of strategy of where they're taking a company. Military leaders, the same. Political leaders, too. But the core of all leadership, if it's going to be effective nowadays, is to tell a good story. Because if you don't tell a story, you won't have any followers. And leadership demands followership. So all the leaders that I've studied tell a story about who am I as a person, who are we as a group or a political party or an organization or a company, and what is our common purpose? Where am I going to take us? Every single leader does that, and that includes cultural leaders like Lady Gaga. She tells the same story about who am I, I'm Mama Monster, who are we, you're my little monsters, and where are we going? What is our common purpose? Which is to cheer people up, to uh, fight for uh, the rights of minorities and others. One of the things that many leaders do is just try to think of a phrase that sums them up so you have it in your head. Uh, with, with Bill Clinton, it was, I am the boy from Hope. With Mrs. Thatcher, it's, I am the grocer's daughter from Grantham, and I am the Iron Lady. Um, they also create a star moment, something they all, always remember. And um, leaders do this in all, all kinds of ways, but they give you a bit of a shock so that you remember exactly what they were like. Nelson Mandela does this. Nelson Mandela very famously appeared in court under the apartheid regime wearing Koza dress, traditional African dress. He was saying, I'm a black African and this is a white man's court and this is unfair. And he said it through how he dressed. Later, uh, when, the, when he was president of South Africa, he appeared at, appeared at a Springboks game, very famously wearing a Springboks shirt. And he was saying, I am now the president of a reconciling country the Rainbow Nation. That was a star moment, something they always remember. The book is aimed at everyone who tells stories, and since that's everyone, uh, I hope that everyone will get something out of it, whether you are looking for promotion at work and you want to explain why you're better than somebody else, what you have to offer, or whether you want a new job and you want to do the same, or you want to get into university and you need to make a pitch about who you are and what you want to study and why you want to do it, or in uh, any part of your daily life, because we tell stories constantly. We tell stories about what we do well, what we didn't do well, and what we've learned about it. And I've just tried to take the most successful people I can think of, who are world leaders or business leaders, and distill some of the things that they do well. And also some of the things they do badly. There's a chapter called What Not To Do, which I think quite a few leaders could uh, benefit from, and so could the rest of us.